guys, this game of Rome Total War here. So, I'm uploading this because uh, this guy, Pag, was mad that I uploaded a game of him losing. So he actually, he and his teammate Hamilcar actually beat us in this game. Um, and it's my fault, we lost. Um, so I have to upload it, because he's mad, and loses and gets mad, I guess. So, uh, yeah, he took Bronze Shield Pikeman, 14 of those. Um, how many chariots did he take? I think he only took two chariots and two chariot archers, so he has just a fuckload of infantry. Hamilcar took all the archers. I took, we thought they were going to take way more archers, so I took um, seven Cretans. I only have 13 infantry. And Heraclius took two archer auxilia. So Pag actually has the infantry advantage here. Um, three, six, nine, twelve. 14, 16 infantry. So I'd say Pag actually does have an infantry advantage on me. I only have... I'm only going to fight him with... Uh, 11 pikes, honestly, because I'm using these guys to shield my archers against these chariot archers in the back. He's only got two chariots. I would have taken six, honestly, but... That's on him. I didn't take any cav. Heraclius has six cav. I guess you don't absolutely need to take four or six chariots um, to win this, but they are down a lot of urbans, and he has spare pikes to go help out his ally if he needs. Um, two chariots. If this guy plays well and makes up for his uh, infantry deficit, bronze shield pikes aren't going to be that useful versus urbans. He might, they might, like, uh, I don't know. But, so yeah, just some skirmishing, nothing too fancy here. We kind of decimate his archers. We just took way too many. Um, definitely don't have enough infantry. Um, Heraclius does for his guy, but for my guy, I'm a little short-handed, although my guys, um, the attack is actually the same on Royal Pikemen as Bronze Shields. Bronze Shields are also a lot cheaper, so you can upgrade them better. Um, the only thing with Bronze Shields, and it really, it sort of applies to Pikes versus, but he does this too, which is a huge fucking fuck up on my part. I lose a lot of guys. Um, but somehow he also loses a lot of guys in his front as well. He's We're down to like similar numbers, actually, so it wasn't that bad. Um, but as I was saying, um, the Bronze Shields, their lack of defense is mainly because they have a smaller shield. It hurts them with Pila, Spartans, and stuff like that. If it's just like a Pike War like this, it doesn't actually matter that much. I think Royals might have better morale. I'm not totally sure on that. Um, in a frontal head-to-head, -head, they would have an advantage just because of that defense. And they can withstand Archer Fire a little bit better. Um, so Pag's got, it's got a Chariot Archer behind right here, one right here, it's getting, this one's pretty damaged, this one's kind of okay. Um, Heraclius is just gonna do a Rome versus Rome. Uh, not much interesting over here. Honestly, I just didn't, wasn't paying that much attention, wasn't playing very well. Um, so Pag has so much infantry, he can easily outflank, and we have no Cav. Um, on this side, Archers are very exposed, there's just two Lewis Formation Pikes to prevent these Chariot Archers from doing a... Pulling a fast one on us. Um, we've got a Hamilcar with a flanking maneuver. Um, maybe it's not wise to flank when you have so much, like such a low amount of infantry. Um, especially when, you know, as they're attacking, they're just routing. I think he just put up all of his upgrades on the Cav. Um, he does a counter charge against Heraclius' uh, attack there. Doesn't really do a lot of damage. He loses more Cav for sure. Um, he's taking advantage of this little spot where he's got more infantry. Um, I'm getting outflanked here, um, I simply just don't have a lot, I have only 13 pikes, um, they are better, there's no real excuse to necessarily lose, but it's possible, um, I'm moving my archers like crazy, I'm shooting these, uh, arrows here, I'm shooting at, uh, Hamilcar's cav a lot, as much as I can to help out Heraclius, he's got, a Heraclius has a lot of cav, actually. He's doing extremely well. Um, no issue killing Hamilcar. And I think part of that is because Hamilcar is his general all the way to here. That kind of defeats the whole point of having a general. If it's just out there, it should really be over here more. 
Um, so again, he's taking uh, Pag is going to take advantage of his infantry superiority in numbers at least, and he's going to bring a pike over here to sort of make up for the sort of fuck up that happened. Um, I'm going to shoot the hell out of these scythe chariots. For some reason, they're just walking. If I was Pag, I'd definitely like run them uh, a lot more effectively. I bring a royal pike in to sort of help stop them. Um, they do go amok, but it's just like too little, too late. The chariot's already there doing its thing. Um, so Pag's just got two pikes over there. Um, and Hamilcar is still charging. Praclius took a little bit of cav damage, but he has enough to make a difference, especially with how depleted Hamilcar is. His general's finally in the thick of things. Um, so I'm getting outflanked horribly, not paying as much attention as I should be. Um, he did lose a lot of infantry over here in the front, um, and his general's kind of in a bad place. At any moment, if Heraclius wanted to hammer Anvilon, that general would probably be in a lot of trouble. Um, but he decides to try to get these pikes off of his urbans. Um, I think if I was Heraclius, I would definitely be using some urbans that are free, because they're not... Um, there's no need to have like this many fighting only so few units, especially with this guy's general dead. There's no units here. Um, he could easily take urbans and sort of take these bronze shield pikes out from behind and take some pressure off me. Um, I think the primary mistake I made is that I just spread out way too much. Given I had low numbers, I could not really... It's not really a wise idea to just, like, go one-on-one -on -one with these bronze shield pikes. I thought I could, because my infantry is theoretically better, but... Uh, what ends up happening is stuff like this. He's just, like, easily able to outflank us. Or me, rather. And I'm doing the best I can, but my infantry is just too separate, and if I run around now, I'm gonna get caught, and he has just so many pikes swarming me. Um, there's not a whole hell of a lot of maneuvering I could do. I could have probably moved this one that I have my cursor on. Um, so Heracles, all of his infantry is fighting this one pike. Um, again, there's no need for three urbans to attack one pike. Um, you could definitely, um, kind of split them up and quickly kill those pikes, uh, with kind of surround tactics. I have a pike over here, I stopped paying attention, it lost a lot of units, I'm trying to move it, it wouldn't be a surprise if it routes. I have a pike here, I'm reformed for some reason while it's fighting, my general's over here, stuck on this guy. Um, this is a disaster over here, there's like a little unit here, it's only nine guys, shouldn't be a big deal, but he's got so many other ones. Um, surrounded another pike that I isolated. So my infantry is not doing good, Heracles still kind of has a strong force. He has a good, he doesn't even have a lot of cav, um, they still have these archers here. Um, I'm sure this, this archer cab shooting from behind isn't helping. Um, it's not even shooting, I don't know why, it sh definitely would help him out to win, uh, faster if he did. Um, this is too little too late, my general got surrounded once again. Um, I got another chariot, I don't know what he did with it, I, nobody saw what happened, it's a mystery. So, but it doesn't matter now, so, Heraclius, um... If I was him, I would definitely disengage, reform, um, maybe use this urban to get this bronze shield over here. Um, but it's just too late, I just lost... I lost my general, it's like, you know, you're Macedon, you lose your general, you're kind of fucked. Um, I have only a few pikes left. He has a lot of... He has, his pikes are pretty battle damaged, but he still has a lot left, and he's just gonna make a big... Basically just him versus the Skippy Eye right now. And this could be a problem, but it's unlikely it's actually, wherever it randomly goes, it's unlikely it's going to actually smash into his own men. Um, Heraclius, it's, charge, it's a good idea in theory, but there's just too many reserves. He just has to turn one guy around, and given how depleted and tired these cav are, they're easily going to route. They're going to route pretty fast. Um, in fact, they all die before most of them route. Um... So he has so many infantry over here, he doesn't need reserves defending anything, especially because there's no cav, there's no archers, they have all the archers left. Um, he can take, he could take more pikes and win a lot quicker if he just, um, you know, it would take a little bit, but he could just surround Heraclius and kill his army, so he's just gonna throw in the towel. I only have a few pikes left, I throw in the towel. And that is the defeat. Um, after we lost, Paglia said, now upload it, uh, so... There it is. Average defeat. Didn't get many kills. Pagliola got a little kills because he uh, ran around and killed isolated pikes. Snazzy got the most on our team. Pretty close to uh, 
you know, what's his name? This is, oh, this is Paglius's, uh, I mean, uh, Heraclius's, um, replay, because I didn't save it, but we wanted to upload it because Pag told us to. So, yeah, that's, the, that's that. His Legionary First Cohort got a lot of kills, considering it's a Legionary First Cohort. They have the stats of, like, Silver Shield Legionnaires. They have 120 units, and they have better morale, obviously. Um, his archers didn't get too many kills. Urban's eh, mainly an infantry battle for him. And, yeah. That about wraps it up.